Hey Alexa, green lights on. Hi, I'm Carl. I work for Arduino as an interaction designer. And today we're going to take a look at how we can connect an Arduino to Alexa through the Arduino IoT Cloud. Let's take a look. So first, we're going to have a Maker Wi-Fi 1010, which we're going to connect the Maker RGB Shield to, which is a light source. That we're going to connect to the Arduino IoT Cloud, which we're then going to connect to Alexa. Through Alexa, we're then going to send a voice command that is being written in the cloud and sent to the board, which will turn on the light. So let's take a look at the material we're going to use. As the brain, we're going to use the Maker Wi-Fi 1010, a great board for IoT projects that comes with a built-in Wi-Fi chip. As for the light, we're going to use the Maker RGB shield, which has 84 RGB pixels and can produce a really nice light in different colors. All we need to do is connecting them, no other circuit needed. And now we're going to show you how to set up the Arduino IoT Cloud. So the first thing we're going to do is to create a thing. And we can name it something simple, such as Alexa Light, because we're going to connect it to a light. And then we need to select a device. And I've already set up the device before, so I can use the associated. But otherwise you need to configure a device and it's a very, very easy process. Uh, as soon as we configure the device, we can also add a variable. And this variable, uh, we're gonna name it light. And this is going to be of a colored light switch, which means that we're going to be controlling the, the red, the green, and the blue aspects of the Maker RGB shield. Uh, we're going to set it to read and write and on change. And then we're going to add it. There we go. And as soon as you add this, you can also add the uh, network credentials. And uh, we're not going to show you what we have, but we're going to add it as network name and then network password and you're going to click on save and that's it in terms of setup so now we're just going to move on to the code part um, the first thing we're going to do is include arduino graphics and the arduino maker rgb libraries at the top of our sketch uh, these will ensure that we can control the maker rgb shield uh, otherwise we can't use it um, and then we're going to use the matrix begin which will initialize the library and set the brightness to 10, which is a kind of nice lower brightness so you don't get blinded by the, by the shield. It's very strong. Uh, we're also going to use while serial, which prevents the program from running until we um, open the serial monitor. And that way you can see the communication uh, that everything has been successful. Um, and that's a really good function to have. Um, if you scroll up a little bit further down, we can see that the loop is basically empty the only thing we have is an Arduino cloud.update function. And um, this is the only thing that's going to happen. And basically, anytime something changes in the cloud, it's going to update. Um, and it's just keep on running forever and ever. Um, if there is a change coming in, and this is going to come from the Alexa side. So if, for example, Alexa, we, we tell it to, uh, to change the color to red. Um, it's going to come into the cloud and it's going to say, hey, there was a change in, in, this, in this function here. But we're going to go through that a little bit later. Um, and here it's just basically, it's going to get the values from RGB. And then it's going to say, if the light switch is on, um, then we're going to turn on the lights with these values. And this basically happens in the matrix.fill RGB. Um, so say for example we wanted to set it to green and we might want to change it to red or something um, then it's going to write these values so if we change it to red it's going to be 150 maybe and then on the other ones zero and that'll create a nice little red light um, and also if we get a command that says off then it's going to go the other route and just basically turn everything off and that's basically it. It's only this, this function called on light change. And um, that's pretty much it in terms of coding. And now we need to set up the Amazon Alexa app. Now for this, we need to use our phone and we need to download the Amazon Alexa app. And when we launch it, we need to head over to the devices tab. 
In the Devices tab, there is a section called Your Smart Home Skills, and we need to go ahead and click on that. Uh, now we need to find our the Arduino skill, and you do that by searching for Arduino, which will result there. And you need to click on that and enable to use. And then it will ask you to authenticate your account with the Arduino account. Um, and so you have to log in with your Arduino account, it will redirect you there. And then we can click on the Discover Devices button. So now Alexa is looking for some devices to connect to. And this might take a few attempts to find it, depending on if your device is connected. But here we see that he found two devices. And one of them is the one that we're looking for. Another one was a test from before. So we're going to click into the light and we're going to click on Setup Device. And we're going to skip this and we're going to click on Continue. And now when we head over to Devices, we can click into the lights and we can see that we can now control it. And when I'm clicking on this button here now, I can see that it is on and off. Uh, with Alexa, you can also set up some routines. Uh, so for example, if I want to turn on green lights, blue lights and red lights, I have to manually do it just once, but uh, the result is really good. So let's try it out. Alexa, green lights on. Alexa, blue lights on. Alexa, blue lights on. Oh, see, she got it. Alexa, red lights on. All right, well, you know. Alexa, turn the lights off. And that's it. Alexa, turn off the lights. So to summarize this project, today we have put a Maker RGB shield on top of a Maker Wi-Fi 1010. We have then connected it to the Arduino IoT cloud. And through the Arduino IoT cloud, we've also connected it to Alexa through the Arduino um, skill. And now we're actually able to change things as we please uh, to different colors and it's, it's, it's in real time, which is a really cool thing. Uh, we can of course use voice commands like, hey Alexa, turn off the lights, which works really well. And it, it is almost instant and it's a really, really, really nice touch. Um, all of this was done very quickly. It took less than an hour to set up. Um, there is a bit finicky sometimes. You have to troubleshoot some things, but in theory it should work really well. Um, it's a really cool product to do for uh, beginners, I would say. What is really cool with the Arduino IoT Cloud is that it allows you to integrate with these kind of cool services such as Alexa, which is such a popular app. So you can, for example, build your home with different artifacts and then include Arduino as a part of that ecosystem, which is really nice. Um, and it's just one of many things that you can do with it. If you want to read more about this product and how to get a more step-by-step -step instructions on how to achieve it, you can visit the link below. You can find it in the description. Thanks for watching and have a great day.